Liquids are collected in the liquid accumulation section. By design, the liquid has minimum disturbance from the flowing gas stream. Two things determine the capacity here. The volume of well stream surges and the time the liquid must remain for efficient breakout of solution gas. That is, the gas dissolved or entrained in the well stream fluid. As the liquid level controller reacts to the accumulating liquid level, it triggers the liquid level control valve. The liquid is sent to storage or to further processing. Separators also have sight glasses for monitoring liquid levels. These devices allow the operator to check levels, check operation of the dump valves, and check for proper control functioning. Separators are equipped with several safety devices. These may include a varic valve, relief valve, or rupture disc. They're all mounted near the top of the vessel. Well fluids enter the separator and may flow around the stationary deflector or baffle in the inlet. The fluids change velocity and direction when they come in contact with the baffles. The heavy fluids resist the change in direction and the light fluids flow relatively easily in the new direction. Some of the liquids are forced against the sides of the separator where they are caught in drains and channeled down to the bottom of the separator. Gas rises through the separator carrying some liquid in the form of mist. This mixture passes through the mist extractor. This pad is usually made of knitted wire mesh. Liquid mist collects on the pad and as droplets form and become larger they fall into the liquid accumulation section. The gas leaves the separator through the gas outlet near the top of the vessel. Liquids and solids collect in the liquid accumulation section. Since this section is effectively isolated from the stream turbulence, gravity pulls on the heavy, dense solids such as sand and clay, settling them on the separator bottom. These solids are routinely removed during periodic maintenance. Liquids continue to collect until the level reaches the designed dump level. The liquid level controller opens the liquid level control valve and the liquids flow from the separator into storage or to other process facilities. So far we've discussed the principles of fluid separation and how gravity causes wellhead fluids to break up into gas, liquids, and solids. Then we looked at a typical production separator with an inlet located near the middle, a gas outlet near the top, and a liquid outlet operated by level controllers near the bottom. The gas exits through the gas outlet. Liquids collecting in the bottom are separated from the gas flow by divider plates. Accumulating solids are periodically removed by washing or flushing through the drain. The liquid level rises until a preset level is reached. At that time, the liquid level controller opens the liquid level control valve, dumping the liquids through the liquid outlet. That sounds simple enough, right? Well, what do you do if your well stream has slugs and surges? You need a separator with better separation to prevent reentrainment. In our next example, things get a little more complicated. Well, as you can see, we've added another horizontal cylinder. This gives us added separation required by applications where the well stream surges often.